Back here in Washington, polit politicians are hearing it from the public over fuel costs, and the president is apparently anxious to show that he is doing something about it. White House correspondent Mike Emanuel tells us what that is. With gasoline prices for much of the country above $4 per gallon heading into the summer driving season, President Obama announced in his weekly address measures designed to spark a substantial increase in domestic production of oil and natural gas. Last year, America's oil production reached its highest level since 2003, but I believe that we should continue to expand oil production in America, even as we increase safety and environmental standards. A recent Fox News poll shows 61 percent of those surveyed are more supportive of domestic drilling as a result of the high prices. Now the president is offering a blanket extension of the oil and gas leases in the Gulf of Mexico that were affected after last year's BP oil spill. While the president still does not support opening the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge or ANWR for environmental reasons, he now favors drilling more off and onshore in the Gulf and parts of Alaska. I'm directing the Department of Interior to conduct annual lease sales in Alaska's National Petroleum Reserve while respecting sensitive areas and to speed up the evaluation of oil and gas resources in the mid and south Atlantic. Still, these policies are not expected to have an immediate impact on prices or supply and will not start production in new areas quickly. And just eight days before this announcement, Mr. Obama reiterated his long-standing argument. So we can't just drill our way out of the problem. Oil industry officials call the drilling announcement an important step, but say there is much more to be done. We're not seeing uh, a comprehensive policy that, that, in, that is including um, commitments to, to leasing in the Atlantic, commitments to leasing off the coast of Southern California. We need to look at the Eastern Gulf. We need to include that. We need to look at ANWR. Leading Republicans call the president's reversal striking, insisting his administration has consistently blocked American produced energy and suggest there is a political motive. Unfortunately, this is about two things. Number one, his reelection reacting to the price at the pump, building toward his reelection, and number two, actually trying to preempt and block much stronger, more substantial proposals in Congress. Mr. Obama's toughest sales pitch may be with liberal lawmakers in his base who frequently argue with their Republican colleagues that more drilling will not lower prices or make the U.S. more energy independent. Brett. Mike Emanuel, live on the North Lawn. Mike, thank you. Crude oil lost more than $2 a barrel today. The near-month contract closed at $97.37. Gasoline fell six-tenths of a penny overnight. The national average is now $3.95.5 a gallon. We round that up to $3.96.